To everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven. Ecclesiastes 3.1 One of my favorite C.S. Lewis quotes is, Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you've joined me for this one today. I am going to be hitting some of the areas that are easily neglected in my home. One of them being my bedroom. I know when I'm getting behind on laundry and especially the folding and putting away part, I am always tempted to just toss that extra basket in my bedroom, um, often on this chair back here, or any other clutter that I feel like I'm gonna deal with later. I'll often say, just put it in my bedroom. Now this is a habit I'm trying to break, but it tends to be something that I fall back on to keep the main areas of the house from being cluttered. And so then, you know, come the end of the day, I have to deal with whatever mess I have tossed in here on my bed or on the chair. Today I got the laundry taken care of and I'm going to go through and just really give my bedroom a refresh, dust and wipe things down, clean the mirrors and make my room a place that I would love to be because I do like my bedroom. I do feel like it's a cozy place and sometimes I'll ask the kids, do you want to go read in my room? Uh, things like that. I just want it to be usable. So that's the main area we're going to hit. We're also going to do the other main living areas of the home and we're going to do the floors. Now in my house, this is a big job. We have a lot of wood floors. We have a terracotta floor in the kitchen and these are just you know something that we have to keep up with we are a high traffic home with 10 people who live here you know we just have to take the time to do the floors really well every so often now before I get too much further into the video I would love to invite you to hit that subscribe button if you're new and if you're a returning subscriber hi welcome back I'm glad to be welcoming you into my home again so we are just gonna go ahead and get to work I have a lot of work to do on this day and we're gonna be doing it super fast here for you so let's get started. I would love to be able to have a little more time and attention to give to my bedroom, but for now it is what it is. And I think a clean set of sheets goes a long way to making a cozy bedroom. So I'm just quickly going to refresh my bed, get a clean sheet, and put the blankets on the way I like it. Making the bed goes such a long way to having the room feel cozy and put back together. And I just have a little video going on my, my laptop here. It's nice to have someone to keep you company while you are cleaning your room. Hiding in the shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. I'm gonna take just a minute to straighten up my bedside table and then I'm packing this little gift for Father's Day. We love celebrating with just fun little ways in our family and this year all of my kids got their own card. So my husband's gonna get six cards, one from each of the kids and they're all hilarious. They have such good sense of humor and they picked out great cards for him. Then I'm going to get on to the bathroom. My bathroom definitely needs some cleaning and tidying. You shouldn't doubt yourself because you're a work of art. My shower had some leftover shampoo and conditioner bottles that were empty, so I just got rid of those and straightened up our little shampoo and conditioner situation. Some of my kids shower downstairs in my room, and I don't know why they toss their, their towels in the shower. We're gonna have to work on hanging those up.
I went ahead and swept out my whole room, which really needed to be done. It's nice to be able to sweep under the chair and sweep out my closet and everything. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down my mirror and my uh, dresser top there, which is also glass, and get everything nice and shiny again. And it feels so good. Just cleaning mirrors sometimes makes the room feel so fresh. I should not put it off. It's very nice to have a shiny, clean mirror in the room. I had sent one of my younger kids around cleaning mirrors and windows the other day and so I'm having to follow up and make sure that the mirrors are actually clean because this one you couldn't even see yourself in. I'm not quite sure what they put on it. I did give them Windex and a microfiber or maybe a paper towel, I can't remember. But um, either way, it did not get clean. So I was definitely glad to clean this mirror and just dust off this little area where I have some books for my kids. And my room is feeling so much more fresh and clean. I'm so glad I took the time to do this. Now as I got into cleaning the kitchen, a lot of what I needed to get done was putting things back away where they belong. You know, throughout the week, we have lots of little hands helping with everything. I totally appreciate that and I definitely want my kids to have the opportunity to learn to be helpful and um, I don't want to discourage them from that. And I'm often reminding them to put things in the right place, especially if they don't know where something belongs. I have kind of taught them, just ask, just say, where does this belong? And so sometimes they do ask me and I help them get it to the right place or they'll, help one, they'll even ask one of their older siblings who knows where it goes. So that's really helpful, but it's nice on the day that I am you know, really doing a thorough job to help get everything put away back where I like it and where I can find it easily when I need it. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest.
you all know I love cleaning my kitchen. I love having a clean kitchen and just being in the kitchen in general. And these floors, I really love the idea of terracotta floors. So I hope that in a future video, I am able to share um, stripping these floors and then resealing them because really that is what they need at this point. So today I will sweep and steam mop them. And I do have a product that I sometimes use to help the seal of them. Uh, it doesn't last for long, but uh, for now these floors are hanging in there and I just love the look of this type of tile in the kitchen, so I enjoy it for what it is. So today I'm not just going to sweep, I'm not just going to swiffer, but we're going to go all the way and steam mop. Now I have a Bissell steam mop and I really like it. Bissell Steam Mop is a really good choice if you have a lot of floors to cover. It comes with two pads and this is not sponsored. I just really like the Steam Mop. So um, I had been using like a Spin Mop before, which was fine, but I really don't think that it was getting the floors as clean as this gets them. And I also feel good about that I think that they're sanitized somewhat because it is the steam and they dry very quickly. So I really like this choice. I don't use any chemicals with it. Sometimes I use essential oil for the fragrance and this mop does come with some fragrance pads but I don't really care for the artificial fragrance. So I'm just going to go over all of the floors and give them a good clean and then it even has a little scratcher scrubby brush that helps in spots where there might be something stuck on the floor. So uh, you'll just see me cleaning my whole floors and I'm really happy with how clean they come out. You can see even right now how fast the floors are drying as I go over them. So the pads that fit on the bottom of this steam mop are kind of like a terry cloth and they are washable and I wash them several times, or um, well, quite a lot of times, and they hold up really well. They come out thoroughly clean in the wash and they, they work just the same as when they were brand new. So I'm really happy with this choice for a steam mop. If you have a steam mop that's different than this, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. I definitely was shopping around and looking for the one I wanted to go with. And also this one has a really long cord, which is really nice in my house since I can cover a lot of space. Now I first learned about steam mops from a friend who also has an older home. It's nearly 100 years old like mine and they have wood floors. And uh, when I learned that she used a steam mop on her floors and it kept them looking so beautiful and clean for her little kids to play on and she didn't have to worry about that. That was when I really started getting serious about looking into them. Everybody was asking me, what do you use on your wood floors? And I was still in that trial and error phase. I really had no idea what was the best you know, product, especially for long term and high traffic and all that. But I really think Steam Mop is such a great choice. You can even see in this picture how fast the floors are drying. So there's definitely not a lot of water lingering on the floor to damage it or anything like that. And we are celebrating a birthday this week, so we kept our decorations up and we are making it the week of birthday celebration. Now it feels so good to get into this living room and put things back where they belong. I took the time to flip up our beanbag chair and to put some of the children's books back on their shelves. And it just feels really nice to go through and get everything organized and orderly. And you know, under my couch can be a big catch-all. So we made sure to get everything out from under there. And then I'm just gonna do the floors here. What I wanted to show you is just how it looks to go around and get our floors thoroughly clean, swept and, and steam mopped. I am by no means a perfectionist, but I do take the time to get the dust and toys and whatnot out of the corners. It drives me crazy when things get left behind.
In a recent video, I showed how we take apart the couch once a week and make sure that we find all of the lost things, any little toys or crumbs or trash, anything that gets stuffed under our cushions. So I will link that video here in the cards so that if you want to go back and get some inspiration for cleaning out under and in your couch, um, that is a great video for that and I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, but if you haven't, you can go back and watch that one. Anyway. No matter what you call it wondering where are my kids when I clean? Well, some of them were in the next room cleaning up the office. They have a computer area in the office, uh, which my husband also uses for work. And so they were straightening up their area and cleaning up under their desk. And often they will be either cleaning in the next room, working on their bedrooms, or doing something outside if you just see me cleaning. But they are great helpers and I often have them cleaning along with me so that uh, I'm not cleaning by myself and the job gets done faster. We get one chance, one chance, yo You will never regret the things that we'll do Cause I Some last last to clean over here. I went ahead and washed these front windows. You'll only see me wash this one, but it's so nice when the windows can pop out so you can clean the outside also. And we just got all the glass wiped down over here and the living room feels super fresh and clean. I love the feeling of a clean room and a clean house. So thanks for joining me today. I have just a little more to share with you. Hang in there for the afters. Thank you for joining me for this one today. You know, cleaning routines can you know seem never ending. It seems like as soon as we do one room, the next one is messy again. And I just wanna remind you, our kids are only little once and this is the time to enjoy it. So I'm often tempted to be frustrated if I see the same streaks down the hall or pencil marks on the wall one more time. But I like to remind myself that 
this is pleading that the kids are only little ones. I do want to teach them not to do those kind of things, but uh, you know, it's all about perspective. It's all about learning that this is how we can love and serve our family and that we can do all these things as unto the Lord. One of my favorite C.S. Lewis quotes is, children aren't distractions from important work, but they are the most important work. And like my friend Grace always says, hug your babies tight. Uh, it's a good time to remember just to enjoy the people that we have in front of us, enjoy the season that the Lord has us in. A lot of life is about perspective and just have joy in the journey. So thank you so much for joining me for this one. I hope you will hit that subscribe button and stay around for more. See you in the next one. Bye.